Okay, so let's get right into these slip swatches. The first color I'm going to do, so we're gonna do kind of start on the light side and then move our way to the dark side. So the first lipstick in here is called Dream Date. It is a cream finish. Okay, and now for the next color. It's called Cookie and it's a matte finish. So this one is a little bit darker than the last shade. It's more of my color nude. I don't really like a nude that would dry out my face. I feel like that last one kind of dried out my face a little bit just because of my skin tone. But let's apply Cookie on the lips. So this is Cookie on the lips. I definitely like this one more than I liked the Dream Date just because it's a little bit darker so it goes a little bit better with my skin tone. Um, the other one kind of drowned me out a little bit too much. nice like everyday color a really nice nude color as well I really like this okay the next color we're gonna be doing is called slacker this is a really pretty color actually it's like a pink but it's not like an overpowering pink it might be a pink that I actually like because I don't like pink lipstick let's see so this is slacker it is a cream finish The next color we're going to be looking at is called Oh Snap. It is a matte finish. So this is Oh Snap on my lips. This is a really pretty color as well. I actually really like this one. I feel like this will just be perfect for like an everyday lip color that isn't too crazy. If you like to kind of stay inside of the lipstick comfort zone, I feel like this is a great one for you. The next lipstick we're going to be trying on is called Parker and it is a matte lipstick. I absolutely love the color of this already. I can't wait to try this on. This is Parker on. The next shade we are going to try is called Twilight and it is a cream consistency. This is what it looks like. This is the shade at Twilight. The next shade we're gonna try is called Topanga. It is a satin formula, so this is the first satin lip we're gonna be trying. So this is Topanga. This is the first like bold look that we have. It's definitely a bright like coral for sure. The next color we are going to try out is called Aftershock. It is a matte X formula. So this is like as matte as you can get for a color pop. This is a really pretty color. I actually really like this color and I love this shade of pink. I'm really not a pink person, but I like this a lot. This next shade is already one of my favorite lippy sticks from ColourPop. I actually think that it is my favorite lippy sticks ever that they ever came out with. This is called Gold Digger. It is a matte X formula. This cranberry shade is to die for. It looks so good on absolutely any skin tone. This is a matte X formula, so it literally stays on your lips all day. All day. People always ask me what lipstick I'm wearing when I wear this, and yeah, it's literally the best. I'm, I love it so, so much. It's the perfect cranberry shade. I have never found a cranberry shade like prettier than this. It's just so gorgeous. This next shade I'm already a huge fan of as well. It is called Brink. 
it is a matte formula. Brink is a very pretty muted down coral color. It's like a coral nude. It's a really nice shade. I love this color. The next shade is called Cami. It is a matte X formula. This next shade I already have as well, it's called Lumiere, and it was a collaboration with Kathleen Lights. This is a really pretty like purplish pink everyday shade. Lumiere is a matte formula, but I've always found it um, not very drying, which is a great thing. This next shade is called Happy Thoughts. It looks like it is a magenta color. This is a matte formula. This next shade is called Byron Babe. It is a matte X formula. This looks even darker than the last one we just tried on. I absolutely loved Happy Thoughts. I thought it was gorgeous. So let's put this on. This next shade is called Little Thing. It is a cream finish. This next shade is called Westy. It is a matte formula. It looks like a baby pink, which means that I'm probably not gonna be a fan of it. This is ridiculous. <laughs> This would be really pretty on someone who is blonde, for sure. My color hair, my skin tone, absolutely not. It's like a bubblegum pink, not for me. The next shade we're gonna try is called Goodie Bag. It is a matte formula. This is what it looks like. You can see how red my lips are starting to get. They definitely are starting to become sore. <laughs> This would look good on somebody who's blonde as well. This next shade is called Casanova. It is a very like neon pink. Um, it is a cream formula. This is Casanova. The next shade is called Songbird. It is a matte formula. So this is Songbird. I definitely like this much better than the last two, for sure. The next shade we're gonna try is called Cherry Bomb. It is a matte formula. This is Cherry Bomb. This next shade is Are You Surreal? This is a matte formula. This next shade is called Runaway. It's a matte X formula. So this is a little bit darker. This is Runway. It's actually really pretty. The next shade is called Heart On. It is a matte formula.
This is hard on. We are officially halfway through. <laughs> Um, and that's pretty much it for like the crazy colors for the most part. Um, now we're getting into like deeper tones, reds, browns. This is called I Heart This. It's a matte formula. I definitely see a difference in this one compared to the other matte ones. This is definitely like more of a sheer matte, I think. It took a lot of layers for me to actually get this shade on completely. This next shade is called Jam Sash. It is a matte formula. This is a gorgeous color. This next shade is called Skywalking. It is a matte X formula, so it's going to be extremely matte. This is a really pretty red as well. This next shade is called Trust Me. It is a matte X formula. another really pretty red. This next shade is called Love Life. It is a deeper red. This is a matte X formula. This next shade is called Parachute. It is a matte X formula. You definitely have to layer this one a lot. Um, it's sheer as well, so just keep that in mind. This shade is called Day Trip. It is a matte formula. This shade is called Chi Chi. It's a matte formula. This is kind of a splotchy color. Like it's sheer for a matte. And you have to kind of play with it a little bit. All right, so we are down to these two rows now. We've done all of these. So these two are the last. There's 16 left. My lips are on fire, guys. Like, it looks like I'm wearing lipstick. It's just like stained at this point, but like my lips are so raw and like red, like they hurt so bad. This okay. shade is called Who Run This? It is a matte X formula. Now we're getting into the browns. This next shade is Ziggy. This is a matte X formula. Now we're getting into my favorite shades, all the dark colors. I love dark colors. I think it looks the best with my skin complexion and my hair, everything. So I'm excited. Next shade is Fly Fi. It is a matte X formula. The next shade is Goldie. It is a matte X formula as well. You would have to wear like concealer. You'd have to conceal your lips after wearing the shade for sure. Um, just because of like the color of it. It's like has like a dark, like brown, like blackish undertone underneath it. So you definitely need like some sort of lip liner um, and concealer around. This shade is called Poison. It's a matte formula.
This shade is called Bichette. It is a matte formula. This shade is Ellery. It's a matte formula. This is another one that I would definitely line my lips for, for sure, but it is so pretty. This next shade is called Infinite Best. It is a matte X formula. This is definitely the darkest shade that we've tried so far. You definitely need to wear a lip liner underneath this because it is pretty sheer. It goes on a little bit splotchy. I don't know if you can tell on camera. It is a little bit splotchy, so not my favorite. The next shade is 1000%. This is a matte X formula. This one I would still wear a lip liner under, but it went on a lot smoother. This is the color Grunge. I already have this one. It's a matte formula. This one I do always wear a lip line under because it's a little more sheer than some of the other ones. So um, just keep that in mind when purchasing, make sure to get the lip liner with it. This shade is called Taurus. It was a collaboration with Kathleen Lights. I'm really excited I finally get to try it. Taurus is a matte formula. This shade is called Candy Paint. It is a matte X formula. So pretty, this might be my favorite shade out of like all of them. I think this is so gorgeous. Candy Paint. This color is called Girl Gang and it's a matte formula. Big fan of Girl Gang. This next shade is Capish. This is a Matte X formula. I already have this one. I actually really like it. I wear it a lot. This is the perfect mauve shade with a hint of gray. I just absolutely love it. I love shades like this. I think it's my favorite type of shade ever. last shade is Aquarius. It is a cream finish. This is my last lipstick to show you guys. And the shade is way too light for my face. This was a collaboration with Kathleen Lights as well. This is just, this is just not my color. This is Aquarius. Well, that concludes my video. I hope you guys enjoyed all 48 of my lip swatches. My lips, guys, are on fire. Like, ow. To say the least, they're burning so bad, so. I'm gonna go do like a lip mask, an exfoliation, and a ton of moisturization. They're gonna be so dry tonight, so. I'm gonna make sure to go do that. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments what other videos you would like to see below. Um, it really helps me figure out what you guys like and don't like, so make sure to also hit the like and dislike buttons if you disliked this video. It really helps up my channel and lets me know what you guys um, you know, enjoy and don't enjoy. So I really hope you guys did enjoy this though. It took me so long to film this, it's crazy. It literally took me like, 
almost five hours to film this video <laughs> for you guys. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Happy New Year. Have a good one. Bye.